I have some wise sage words for you from a 66 year old woman who has lived life as full as she could, but held back a lot. And I think part of it was my personality and part of it was the way that I was raised. I was raised to always have respect for everyone. And if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it. But even though if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it does resonate. And it is true. If you are being abused or hurt or anything else, um, you know, not saying anything is not the answer. When people, I was asked the other day, um, you know, do you have any regrets? And the only thing that I regret is that I didn't speak up for myself more and say what was really on my heart and mind and um, tell people when they were wronging me whether that meant that a relationship would break after that or continue after that. It's, it's part of why we are here is to learn this lesson, I truly believe. So I wrote down a few things that I was just thinking about and um, we're just gonna jump right in. So everyone has an opinion of you whether it's a good opinion or a bad opinion you will never be liked by everyone it's not possible it's not meant to be and it doesn't matter everybody doesn't have to like you as long as you know that you have tried to be kind and are a good person still i mean just since i've been on youtube in this short amount of time i have learned this lesson very clearly some people will love everything you do from your thumbnail to what you have said during the video they just they just love you and of course we all want to feel that but there are others who don't like anything ever and so it begs the question why do you still watch i guess some um, maybe there are people who love to hate i mean i don't know but but I did I did learn that very very quickly when I got on my YouTube channel. But you know it's okay. Um, not everybody's gonna like you. Everybody has an opinion formed of you pretty quickly after they first meet you. And then second, I wish I would have learned this lesson years and years ago, not to be afraid of confrontation, which I kind of already touched on this. Um, just don't be afraid. I, like I said, partly was my personality. I'm very non-confrontational, or I was. Um, but don't be. If you think you are non-confrontational, try to change that in yourself because it's really not healthy. It leaves you feeling wounded and hurt a lot of times because you just don't want to confront whatever issue or person has hurt you. And you think, well, I'll just keep it to myself and it'll be fine. And in my um, experience, it's not. It's not fine because it still lays inside you and eats at you um, for a long time. I should have said this, I should have done that, whether they liked it or not. And I might also say that being confrontational does not necessarily mean that you have to get in someone's face and put your finger in their face and scream at the top of your lungs at them. That's not necessarily what it means. It just means don't be afraid to stand up for yourself and just say what you have to say without holding back. Um, when someone hurts you, either physically or, you know, hurts your feelings, um, takes a really deep stab at you, it's going to hurt for a while. And you need to work through that. 
and when that part is over and for everyone it's different it's just like grief you know everybody grieves at a different rate of speed um I guess what I'm trying to say is don't wallow in the pain for too long. Get through it and then speak your truth. And by speaking your truth, I mean tell the person who hurt you that you know what they did or you haven't forgotten what they did. And, um, you know, this is how you feel about it. Whether you're sad or angry about it, let them know. And let everybody else that wants to listen know too. So recently um, I was very hurt by uh, my brother. And I confronted him with it calmly and securely. And there was no yelling or screaming. And I told him exactly how I felt. And it, uh, did it make me feel better? Yes, because I don't have that weighing down on me like I should have said this or should have said that. I did say everything I needed to say, and that feels really good. But at the same time, if you are talking to someone else about how hurt you were, make sure you're speaking the truth, don't embellish anything, and make sure you're not turning it into gossip against that person. And I will tell you not to be afraid to talk about these things to other people. And this is probably not coming off right because you're going to say, oh, we should keep your private life private to some extent. But if somebody is purposely hurting you and they have hurt you and you need to talk about it with someone, then talk about it because it's the only way that you're going to relieve yourself of that pain. And the person that hurts you doesn't want you to talk about it. They don't want that to get out. They don't want people to think that they're bad or they did that or they hurt you like that. Of course they don't. So why protect them? If you need to talk about it, talk about it with someone you trust. And then... um Have two people in your life that you can count on to help you make the hard decisions. And I would suggest in my life, I have those two people. I have my daughter who provides unconditional love and is always on my side. And then I have my bestie. And while she is always on my side, she also doesn't always agree with me. And she tells me, look, I don't think that's the right move. I don't think it's the best for you right now. And I appreciate those people. You got to have those kind of people in your life. I read someplace years ago that Abraham Lincoln's cabinet, he specifically chose people who were not yes people because he needed all the answers and all the opinions. So yeah. On the big decisions, you need those two people in your life. And then finally, you know, just, just remember to speak quietly. You don't need to scream and be obnoxious to stand up for yourself. Because if you're right and you're standing up for yourself, you don't need to scream about it. It's just right for you. So I just wrote down here, speak quietly be blunt, set your boundaries, and keep those boundaries. Um, I've always been the type that gets back with people who text me relatively quickly. I never really miss a text. And a couple of weeks ago, someone texted me, and I didn't hear the phone, or I was busy. And then they texted back. That time I did hear it, and they said... Uh, and now you're ignoring me or something like that. And it just struck me wrong. And boy, I picked up that phone and I texted back, do not put time limits on me. And I haven't heard from that person since. But if that's what's happened, if that is what has to happen 
for you to set boundaries and for the people you've known for a really long time to say, well, what happened to you? What, you know, who pooped in your Wheaties or whatever it is they say? Nobody did. It's just me finally being me and standing up for myself. And I think we all need that. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.